Well, this is one of the original uh, shore things, two and a half, three years old uh, now, and uh, certainly going uh, well for us. This is one of the favourite beaches of mine, Eurotiti, and uh, as we're only an hour and a half from Auckland, it's uh, good to come up here with a motorhome. So we're going to give it a try tonight, uh, see what happens, fresh mullet bait. It's uh, 5.30 in the afternoon, nice sunny day, so uh, we'll see what happens. I buy fresh mullet from a supermarket uh, in Auckland uh, there. It's always uh, nice and fresh. I then cut it into cubes uh, in 25 into a bag and put into the uh, freezer in the motorhome. And uh, there's nothing worse than the, the mushy uh, bait that you can buy from uh, the service station. Here we're putting it through from the, the hook, through from the, uh, the flesh, through to the skin which is a much stronger way of doing it, and then lightly putting the hook into the slot. Don't push it in, just, uh, just slightly into the, uh, into the slot. Very simple. And the one good thing about it, it's a safe method of uh, deploying the, uh, the hooks. On the normal system, when you're uh, sending the torpedo out, uh, very easy to get hooked up, whereas this here, not a chance. The beauty of this system, you know, I, I got it because I lost a Contiki on the, uh, on the west coast. We pulled in uh, 16 uh, hooks, 8 nice fish, and uh, the line was cut through and looked for uh, some way of uh, relieving my insurance company so that they would support me in the future. And this was the only system I could uh, find that would do that. The thing is the catch rate is considerably higher, uh, I believe, because the baits are fresh when they get out there. This place is renowned for, uh, for weed, and uh, this, the baits are getting out there fresh, dropping in the right zone, um, and uh, there's no weed uh, you know, on the hooks. I fish quite often with a uh, friend of mine uh, there that has a uh, Contiki very similar without the GPS, but he doesn't have the uh, Shore Thing trailer. And uh, we can use the same bait, go send the lines out at the same time, and he would be catching four to five times less fish than I am. And uh, I think we're getting far better quality of fish uh, as well, and uh, a bigger variety. I think the main thing, because of all the, the weights that you'll see in here, the line is on the bottom all the time, whereas the normal system uh, there, you've limited on how many weights you can put on because you've got to drag them through the sand to, uh, to get out there, which is taking power out of the uh, torpedo. The thing is too, we're also getting much longer distance uh, there. Um, tonight, I would expect that we'll get uh, just on two kilometers, be 1.9 to two kilometers, um, you know, out there. And uh, you certainly wouldn't get that if you're dragging hooks uh, through. Yeah, I've fished uh, Murawai Beach, uh, driven considerable kilometres up there. Uh, my first visit up there, um, we got our limit of uh, fish uh, using the shore thing and uh, got the biggest snapper I've ever got, which was just on 22 uh, pound uh, there. Very impressive. Um, We've had uh, just here two months ago at Labor Weekend, um, we were able to uh, get our limit uh, each set we did with it. And there's no need to measure the fish, they're all oversized uh, there. You're getting so many. That's the, um, the line spooled up. I just check it to make sure there's nothing you know, hooked up anywhere. The, uh, the line out that's uh, got a little hook uh, here, which will hook to the uh, to the weights very soon. Put that into there. Put the cover on the uh, the side. Make sure that the cutout uh, here is on the uh, bottom side down there. Then put the lock pin through just to uh, stop that falling out.
Now that this is a heavy weight that goes uh, on the end of the line. This helps drop the, uh, the hook section uh, to the bottom and holds it anchored well out there. On a normal system, you wouldn't have weights of this size. So when you get it in position, it stays there. Hook it onto there, onto the, hook this onto the, the loop. the other end onto the timer and at this stage I usually set it for about 20 minutes 20 minutes setting that's about 15 minutes in the 3 o'clock position 20 minutes is around there and then to make sure you've got the spool in the right way I wheel it like this just to tighten the line up because as it's going out it's trying to it, you know that that's round the right way if you had it round the wrong way that would be unspooling as it pulled out to sea we are pointing in the right direction we want to go we're just going to confirm the course for the uh, for the GPS steering um, we just turned this to the position we wanted to uh, to go. In fact, we're going to head for an island straight out uh, there. We're showing two lights here on the uh, that means it's got the course there, and I'll confirm it by moving the magnet across. And now all four lights have come on, so that's confirmed that it's going to head to that position. I'll then put the magnet on the timer. So we're going to set it for 25 minutes. Now we just do a final check to make sure we've got everything tight and we're just about ready to go. Put a little bit of tension on the, the winch in case we get overrun uh, when we hit the waves. We're just about ready to go. We just confirm that there's no boats in the area where we want to send it out, no swimmers. And these waves we've got tonight are certainly not an issue. Uh, there, three meters would be nothing for this uh, shore thing. Now I usually just lie that in the sand and uh, make sure the rope is out of the road, not tangled in anything, and then just slowly pull it out. Now we're going to start the, uh, the motor. So just one swipe across, we're going to put on fast speed tonight. go after this wave. Away we go. The thing is with GPS we can let it go wherever it wants to go and it will straighten up. The beauty of the uh, Contiki with the GPS system you don't need to try and direct it, you don't need to hold the nylon to try and steer it, it will do its own thing from here. Now I always take the time, the moment it's 12 minutes to 6, I write that in the sand, we should have a stop around about uh, 6.15. Um, as we're through the waves we shouldn't have any overruns from here on and uh, we can reduce the drag, maybe just put a finger on it for uh, a few minutes just to uh, be sure. and. Uh, once we're 100 metres or so out, we can uh, just let it go free. The beauty of this system, uh, the, there's no hooking traces or weights on as you, uh, you go. You don't need to worry about uh, getting tangled up in the hooks uh, there. 
missing the places, getting too close to uh, hooks too close together, uh, and then having a heap of hooks left over at the end, and you haven't got places to uh, to put them. It's certainly much much safer, uh, you know there. I would have done maybe 120, 150 sets uh, with this system now, with the shore thing, and uh, I wouldn't be without it. We're definitely catching a heap more fish uh, there with it, and um, better quality of, uh, of fish. I find it much easier. I can do it on my own, whereas if you had the normal system, you've got to have two people uh, there. One controlling the winch is you're hooking the uh, traces on and then as a safety if you did get jammed up to actually stop the winch so you could you know cut a trace or whatever if you did get hooked up. Whereas this here it's free one person can do the whole job uh, no problem. And the thing is we don't need to worry about it now until we uh, pull it in in an hour and a half's time. Okay, we've just passed the one kilometre mark uh, there. Uh, there's a lot of weight on it, so uh, we're expecting a uh, good haul. One thing to watch while uh, pulling in the boats uh, going over the line. If uh, there's boats about, uh, drop the line, stop pulling, and uh, just wait till they've passed. Now we usually take the spool out. Put everything back where it's supposed to belong, you don't lose it. We usually wind in all the, the slack uh, line or the dropper line first until we get the first of the hooks uh, to the winch and then pull the, uh, the fish and the baits down the beach. See the first of the hooks coming up the beach now. Looks like we might have dinner. It looks like we've got snapper for dinner.
Well that was a shame about the tangle, but Dennis is one of New Zealand's top sure thing fishing people. And here's a few of his photos from around the country. He's fished everywhere. He takes his camper van, loads it up with a sure thing, contiki, and he has a ball. If you need any more advice on where to buy a sure thing, or where you can use them, or any other technical questions, don't hesitate to give us a call at the shop, or send us an email.